Okay, welcome back to the final part of Paper Mario. Oh no! Mario defeated me again. He always defeated me. This time I became invincible and I still couldn't beat him. At first I thought that said damn it. They wouldn't say damn it in Paper Mario. You know, we, we got through all that work just to save it. You'd think maybe we want to use it? You took back the Star Rod! Oh, Mario. Mario, I knew you would save me. Now let me bake you a cake. Uh-oh. Maybe the battle's not over yet. Bowser is trying to destroy us with his last breath. We have to get out of here. And yes, I am making fun of Ocarina of Time having slow text. Yo, Cammy Koopa, what's with all the shaking? Uh, your kingship, the battle with Mario is so intense, my device for increasing your power seems to have started malfunctioning. How ironic. Both your castle and this spot right here are about to six explode. Let's wait. Are you really? That's a big problem. Let's get out of here, right? Huh? Ah! Oh yeah! Now the thing is, you'd think that Peach's castle wouldn't survive. I accidentally shook the floor, that's why. Would Peach's castle really survive falling down to its original spot? And I don't know thousands and thousands of miles per hour? Of course it does, it's Nintendo. Oh, I guess the stars are guiding it down, so yes, they actually do have an explanation. Even if it's unspoken and maybe unintentional, they do have an explanation. And now we get to see my favorite endgame credits of all time. Of all time, right here. Like I said, this is one of my favorite games of all time. Well, first this. This is not the credits. Yeah, it's like the Star Spirit said. He was in charge of making this. Oh, Mario, thank you. You did it. You brought back our precious Star Rod. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. We will use it to bring peace back to this world. Now we'll be able to grant everyone's wishes again. All of this is thanks to you, Mario. Yeah, well, you too, because you kissed me so much. Look upon their bright right and remember, you really took it to Bowser, Mario. You really sucked it to him. I knew you could do it. Wait a minute. No, that was, that was, uh, Maymar. Maymar was the one that did the lullaby. She didn't do anything. I hope Bowser learned something from all this. Maybe he'll behave himself now. Yeah, although I'd say the chances of that are pretty slim. You know what else the chances are of slim? Or you know what else has slim chances? Me actually using you. Because I never did. So, yep, I'm sorry I never got around to using either Time Out or Lullaby, but... Lullaby made them fall asleep if you're lucky, and Time Out makes them immobilized if they're lucky. Twink, may I say you rose to the occasion? And if you can remember, he actually met Muscular. Well, I think it's time we return to Star Haven. All the stars are waiting for us there, no doubt. It's time to say goodbye for now, Mario. May the sh stars forever shine upon you. I'd like to thank you, too. And Princess Peach, it was in your honor to help you. Yo, know, even though I do like the second one better than the first one, I mean, second Paper Mario, even though I consider the second Paper Mario my favorite game of all time, rightfully so it is, I just like the ending of this one maybe a tad better. I have to go, too. And there might be bonus episodes of this because there's a couple of things that I never showed. Letters to Mario, Letters to Mario's Partners, and Luigi's Diary. Hmm. Probably won't, but eh, you never know. Bye-bye, Twink. You can just look it up. Sorry, but 
This is so epic, I don't want to finish it off with some bonus episodes of... Because this game's not endless play, so... So, I wonder what Luigi's been up to all this time. So that's right, that's how you took the Star Rod from Bowser. Seems like another wild adventure's in the Brooksboro. The castle's back in its normal place and everyone's returned home safely. You came through in the end, just like you always did. I know you've been back for days now, but I bet you still kind of feel like you're on an adventure, don't you? That reminds me, the pals who travel with you, I wonder what they're up to now. Ah, uh, playing tag with his sister. And apparently tag is not actually tagging, but just dump, jumping up in the air. That's a, that's a fun game of tag. Hey, Paracarry, what's up? I thought you were back at work delivering letters. Haha, <laughs> I sure am. This isn't a social call. I dropped by to bring a letter to you, Goombari. You know, I've never actually thought about how much work it takes to put so much text in a video game. It's just a lot of text, especially since we probably didn't even see most of it. How about all the optional NPCs? Hey, Goombari, what if Princess Peach waiting her letter? Let me see. Hang on. Jeepers, this is an invitation to a party at the castle. So, he's going to invite everybody. There's Bombette. Wait a minute, but where's Cooper? Maybe she might know something. And she seems mad. There's Bo. I'll be there. Ah, look at that. Walk out along with the Shy Guys. And it looks like Sushi's back at babysitting duty. Uh-oh. But this is... Because this is... It's not just a party, you see. It's a parade. I think maybe they outstretched the ending just a tad a bit. But... I love it. Because at the end of the game... Princess Peach does a roll call of all your partners, and that's so epic. She's like, thank you, all of you. Yeah, so wow, it's a direct. Yeah, so basically, there's no way I can make Sebastian this big, but I can't just turn my back on this expedition after I promised Professor Colorado I should stay here. And yeah, so I didn't really say that, but they're actually going up to the Crystal Palace. Oh, Poppycock, turning down such an invitation would be so terribly impolite. This is a golden opportunity. Go to the party. This instrument. Yes. The hero of Koopa Village, although he barely did anything. Actually, that's not true. Technically, technically, we could not have beaten the game without him. Yes, something from his wife. I kind of want to get on with this. I really do want to finish the LP in this video, but... <laughs> Two identical-looking comrades... Eh, yeah, we might as well go too. Huh? Did you hear something outside? I think I did. Let's take a look. Of course. Yes. Letter just like the beginning. So it starts out just like the beginning of the game. Deja vu, deja vu, and deja vu. And, well, how about the thing we really want to see? Yes. So Luigi's got to run and do something important. Hmm. Oh, that's right. We still actually have to control ourselves to the castle. That's right. I forgot. And you can actually try to leave town, but it doesn't get you anywhere. I've tried to do that before just to see if I could, like, make endless play out of this, but nowhere to go. Yep. Boo's, boo's block you that way. Toad's block you another way. Mario, you're welcome to the castle. Princess Peach should be here very shortly. I forgot you actually had to control yourself at the end. And with no partner. Greetings to all of you. I'm so glad everyone could be here on this special day. The Star Rod stolen by Bowser has been returned to its rightful place in Star Haven. Peace is once again returned to the Mushroom Kingdom. A 
above us, the stars shine with more beauty and power than ever before. It seems that they're, th they're sending us their thanks. Yeah, you can read this on your own if you want. Mario, well, I gotta read this. Mario, Goombario, Cooper, hey, that sounds, it rhymes. Cooper, Bombette, Paracherry, Bo, Watt, Sushi, Wacka, Lester, aka Spike, and everybody across the lands of the Mushroom Kingdom. Huh? You guys all saved me only so I can get kidnapped again. But for now, let's celebrate. Enjoy the festivities. And you know what? I'm actually not going to start it in this video. I kind of want to get all the parade in one video. So, next video will be called, instead of a real part, since it's just the credits, I'm just going to call it Paper Mario 